Most indoor cats want to go outside. They look out the window, they dash for the door, but we are afraid that they're going to get lost or they're going to get injured if they go outside. So for the most part, they stay indoors. One solution that meets them halfway are outdoor cat enclosures, which are sometimes called catios. This way they have a space that they can go outside, but they can also stay safe. The pros and cons of catios, as well as some additional tips coming up. My name is Francisco, and on this channel, I and my three cats, Calypso, Skysfall, and Mr. Muffin, help you improve the lives of your indoor cats. A few years ago, I was helping my friend Jenny put out her Christmas lights. Unfortunately, we did not watch her front door carefully enough, and her two cats got out. At that time, she only had two, now she has several more. Fortunately, we were able to find them quickly and get them back in the house. Unfortunately, they liked the taste of the outdoors they got and they started demanding outdoor time. Fluffy the male was especially vocal about it. So she tried several things. She tried a cat stroller, she tried walking them, but they still demanded more and more outdoor time. And so she thought about a catio and installed one in her home. So what are the benefits of catios? Well, for the most part, it's additional stimulation. They get to feel the air, they get to feel the wind, the sunlight's a little bit different, there's bugs that go into the catio, there's sights and sounds that they normally don't get inside the home, or at least they have a different experience of those things. They have extra space for themselves, and if you have other pets like dogs in the household, they can get away from them into a space of their own. In addition, many catios have shelves and other spaces that they can jump around on and get additional exercise in a way that they really can't inside the house without at least getting sprayed for doing something they shouldn't be doing. No! There, they can also be entertained by a lot of things outside without actually being supervised by you, which actually takes a lot of time. But most importantly, a cat in a catio can experience the outdoors while you maintain your peace of mind. There, you know that they will be safe, that they won't get attacked by dogs, they won't get hit by cars, they won't get lost, and all the other things that we as cat owners think about when our cat is wandering the streets and we don't know where they are. So that sounds great, but what are the downsides of catios? And catios do have some downsides and I'm gonna share those with you. The first one is that they are exposed to the outdoors. So there are outdoor elements that you will now be bringing into your house. One of them, for example, is fleas. If there are other animals in your neighborhood, there might also be fleas in your neighborhood. By having your cats go out into the catio, they might start getting fleas. So that's something to watch out for and be attentive to. Another possibility is that there are neighborhood cats and those neighborhood cats might come around your catio if your cats are out there and bring in certain diseases. For example, distemper is a very contagious virus. Make sure they have their shots and make sure that you watch uh, them just in case they might be getting some viruses or other infections from outdoor creatures. Because catios are outdoors, they will also experience more of the weather, which means that sometimes there might be wet ground, and then the cats will be bringing some of that inside when they come indoors. They might have wet paws or they might have track a little bit of mud into your house. Lastly, most catios are not cheap, especially if you want something that's reasonable in size and has some extras like shelves and so forth. There's not only the cost of the materials, but there's also the cost of labor, either your own labor or having somebody else put it together or build it. In addition, they take maintenance. If you have a wooden outdoor catio, they have to be painted periodically or they have to be urethane periodically. They're like any outdoor structure, needs maintenance on a regular basis. So you have to make that decision. You have to weigh those two things, the pros and the cons, and see which one outweighs the other. If you do decide to get a catio, one of the first considerations is where to put it. Is it gonna be something that's gonna be attached to your house, or is it gonna be something that's freestanding? Where is the sun? Where is it coming from? Especially in the mornings, which might be cooler, you might want morning sun rather than afternoon sun where the air is warmer and they might get overheated, especially in the summer. In addition, consider where the weather is coming from, what direction the wind blows from and what direction the rain might come from. You might want to shelter them a little bit from wind and rain by putting it on the side of the house that has less wind and less rain. 
There's also the possibility that your catio is not going to be attached to your house, but is going to be freestanding. You're going to have to think about weather situations and how much shade do they get, how much sunlight do they get. Also consider the fact that cats like to be hidden so where they can observe the outside world while they themselves are not being observed. Your catio will be most satisfying to them if there are some places where they can sort of hide, whether there's bushes nearby or you have plants inside the catio themselves. But avoid having an open catio with, that is totally observable. You'll also want to consider the size. And that uh, has two factors. One is the bigger, the more expensive. And secondly is, do you want to stay in the catio with your cat? Sometimes people make it large enough so they can have chairs and they can have a little table. They can spend time in the catio with their cats. So here are a few other things to consider. You will want access to the catio not only to clean it periodically, but also maybe sometimes you'll want to spray it with uh, anti-flea spray, or you will want to change the items inside if you have uh, toys and other things in there. So you want to have some kind of door, or some kind of access. That means also that you probably will want to have a lock on that door because it is an outdoor enclosure, which means that people can walk up to it. Also consider putting a litter box in there. When cats are outdoors, they might not want to go all the way inside your house into the basement or wherever you have the litter box if they feel the urge because they're outdoors, they might just start doing it out there. So it's better if you have a litter box outside where they can go and you don't have to worry about it. You should also consider what kind of litter you're going to have in that box because it is an open enclosure squirrels and other small animals can get inside and if you're using an organic litter they might start going in there and eating it or messing with it. In addition the position of the litter box is important because it will be exposed to the weather. It's better to have a covered litter box and have the opening not exposed to the wind and the rain. Make sure to include things in the catio that they can enjoy. They can be organic branches and things like this but they can also be chairs that you can sit on or that they can sit on toys that they might enjoy, things that they can pull on. This is going to be their space and you want to have things in there that will enhance it. Plants, I think, are a good idea to have in there. Keep in mind not to put in plants that are toxic, so you're going to have to do a little bit of research on that. Watch for empty dirt patches or places they start digging up because they might start using them as a toilet. One option there is to use pebbles or to use some other kind of ground cover that will prevent them from digging it up. Also consider additional entertainment. What can they see from the catio? What kind of vistas do they have? Maybe you can put a bird feeder nearby where they can actually watch the birds. In this case, they're a little bit closer. They're more real to them instead of just through a window. Let me just say, if you're finding this content useful and interesting, please like and subscribe. It would help the channel. But let's now talk about access. How are the cats going to get in and out of the catio? The first question is, do you want your cats to have the choice of going in and out at will? This is something that's an important decision. When my friend Jenny first got her catio, she closed the window at night because she didn't want to have the cats going out there at night. But eventually she realized that that was not a real concern. And so now the access is open all the time. The cats can go in and out at will. But if you don't want them to do that, make sure that whatever uh, access they have, you can close off for the moments that you don't want them out there. Maybe when you're going to be gone for several hours or at night. For cat enclosures that are freestanding, you are going to have to either carry them in and out, which means that you're going to have to watch out for them. Don't make sure you don't forget that they're out there. Or it means that there's going to have to be some kind of cat run, some kind of tunnel that they can get from your house to the catio. Consider which window is best for their access, which room has the most flexibility, which won't have a closed door. Also think about that if there's a cat door in your window, that cat door is going to be exposed to the weather. So where is the wind coming from is also an issue. And the, cat, the fact that the cats are going to be opening and closing that cat door when they go in and out from the catio. In the winter, it might bring in some cold and in the summer, it might bring in some heat. This cat door is commercially made. But the frame is custom made. I made it so that it would seal tight. It's got foam to create some insulation. And it has these windows so that it's easy to look out and check on the cats to make sure they're okay. 
So if you want an outdoor cat enclosure or a catio for your cat, where do you start? There are a variety of manufacturers that sell catios. Some of them are just pieces that you assemble together. Others are plants that you would have to build. The first consideration is do you want something that's freestanding or do you something, want something that's attached to the house? A catio that is attached to the house is the most flexible. Your cats can go in and out at will and you don't have to worry too much about it. They make small freestanding catios that look a little bit like chicken coops and they also make larger ones that look more like uh, dog kennels. Consider whether or not they have a roof. If it starts to rain and your cats are stuck out there in the catio, it's not going to be a very pleasant experience for them. For catios that are attached to your house, they come from rather small where you will not really be able to sit in there to very large ones where you can actually set up your own patio in there to hang out with your cats outdoors. Jenny had hers made. She got a plan from a company called Catio Spaces and then she got the material and had somebody help her build it. If you're interested in the plans that Jenny used, I'm going to put the link to Catio Spaces below. I have no affiliation with them and I am not making any commissions from them. Overall, my opinion is that in most situations, if you can put a catio in, your cats will definitely benefit from it. So my recommendation is do it if you can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.